Sydney, I'm Jim Williams. My Martinez has the night off tonight. Chilling new video of the deadly airport shooting in Florida shows the gunman as he opens fire. Here's CBS 2's Roseanne Tayus. This image comes from security footage obtained by TMZ. It's accused gunman Esteban Santiago in the blue sweater, gun in hand, beginning to fire. Another still shot shows people scrambling for cover after hearing the shots. As you'll see in the video, a routine scene turns to terror in seconds. As a family walks out of frame, watch to the left of your screen where the gunman enters, casually reaching in his waistband, pulling a gun and firing into the crowd. We chose not to show the actual gunshots, but you can see the terror in the passengers as they flee. Santiago's brother says the federal government knew of Esteban's psychological trouble back in November. They had him hospitalized for four days, and then they let him go. How are you going to let someone leave a psychological center after four days when he is saying that he's hearing voices? Not everyone has the same reaction when they return from war. Meanwhile, things are beginning to return to normal at the Fort Lauderdale airport, where bags are once again on the turnstile and flights are taking off and landing. Crime tape, the only remaining sign of the tragedy here, that and frayed nerves. Most of us didn't sleep too well last night at all on the cruise ship because we we're pretty upset about just flying. Coming here. Anxiety coming here and being on the plane all day. Now, Santiago's brother expressed frustration that authorities who initially took his brother's gun away after a mental evaluation returned it. He is expected to appear in federal court tomorrow, Jim. Terrorizing images in that surveillance video. And all too common these days. Yeah, it sure is. Thank you, Roseanne.